just as we have in um, falling tune, where we said falling tune could be used for the second alternative in an alternative question. In rising tune, you use rising tune for the first alternative in an alternative question. So we are using the same examples we have under falling tune. Would you like to take your base now or have your breakfast? Will you take the color red or go for color blue? Should I stop at the grocery store or at the market? May I come with you or stay behind? Do you prefer dancing to singing and acting? The rising tune is also used for phrases and clauses that begin sentences. Examples. When I saw her, I was happy. Because she had the cake, she was punished. Why she sang? He was dancing. As they approached the house, we heard our food hurriedly. and indicate parentheses. Punctuations also function as indicators of emotions and tones of writers. We have a lot of punctuations. The first one we'll be considering is the full stop or period. A period is used for the following purposes. One, it is used after declarative and imperative sentences. Examples, I love you. He cares for you. Sit there. Believe me. These are imperative and declarative sentences which attract full stop at the end. Full stop is used after a polite request. Examples. Could you please vote me? Would you please help me with my bag? Could you allow me to stay? These are polite requests that attract full stop behind them. It is used at the end of an indirect question. Examples. She asked, who shut the door? I wonder who the man is. I inquired what the book is about. A period can be used at the end of salutations or greetings. Examples. Good day. Good evening. Good morning, sir. Good afternoon. A period is used for abbreviations. Examples MR for Mr. MRS for Mrs. MS for Miss. DR for Doctor. PROF, Prof. Out of Professor. BA for Bachelor of Arts. PhD for Doctor, Doctor of Philosophy. ESQ for Esquire. So these are abbreviations that attract full stop. You should note that not all abbreviations attract full stop. Examples of abbreviations that do not attract full stop. UNESCO, meaning United Nations Education, Scientific and Cultural Organization. They were, the alphabets are written together without full stop. UNO, United Nations Organization. USA, United States of America, Unilag, University of Lagos. AIDS, Acquired Immunodeficiency Syndrome. MD, Managing Director. CEO, Chief Executive Officer. BCOS, Broadcasting Corporation of Oyo State. AIT, African Independent Television. PTA, Parent Teacher Association and so on. Period could be used to indicate decimal points in amount of money and percentage. 
Examples 0, 0.1%, 2.4 liters, 4.5 kilobytes, 12.4 gigabytes. These are amounts or percentage of substances. Ellipses. Ellipses is represented by three dots to indicate that a part of a quotation has been intentionally omitted. So we use ellipses in quotations when you are quoting someone and you use it when you don't need a part of the person's quotation. So you are lifting the part that you need and then you are leaving other parts that you do not need. So we have examples like the elders of the land said it. We could have yielded to their advice. It would have been easy ellipses for both young and adults. The ellipses there means after it would have been easy, there is something behind before we have for both young and adults. Comma. The comma is used to separate items that are listed in the sentence. Examples. I bought rice, comma, beans, comma, bread, comma, wine, and some vegetable oil. The items that are listed in the sentence have been separated by comma. The list contains names of students, their age, marital status, places of birth, dates of birth, and all addresses. Comma is used for separating a main clause from a subordinate clause. Examples, they saw us, comma, but they did not call us. But they did not call us in the subordinate clause. They saw us in the main clause. So the two have been separated by comma. Other examples are they love their parents, comma, because they buy gifts for them. I walked alone, comma, so I could catch up. He stared at the man, comma, for he was surprised at his appearance. Comma is used to separate an appositive from the main subject of the sentence. And you know, we have said it that the appositive give more information on the subject of the sentence. So we have examples like the boys together with their friends ran away. The boys together with their friends ran away. This is a parenthesis and it is not useful in the sentence. We can as well say the boys ran away. So comma has been used to separate the boys ran away and uh, together with their friends. So together with, the, with their friends is standing in the middle and we have comma before and after it to separate it from the sentence. Other examples are the house that was painted red has been renovated. The house, comma, that was painted red, comma, has been renovated. The principal, without the knowledge of the school management, comma, punished the teachers. The principal, comma, without the knowledge of the school management, comma, punished the teachers. Comma is used to separate adverbial clauses from other parts of the sentence. Examples, whenever he arrives, ask him to see me. Although she is a daughter, she was not exempted. Even after being punished, comma, the boy did not change his attitude. The adverbial clauses in the sentences are whenever he arrives, although she is a daughter, even after being punished, and you discover that we have commas behind the three adverbial clauses. Comma is used to separate the introductory phrase from the other part of the sentence. Examples. To see the king, comma, you will have to exercise a lot of patience. Before acknowledging the letter, please read through it carefully. Being a prince, comma, he was honored. So we have introductory phrases like to see the king before acknowledging the letter and being a prince. These are introductory phrases that attract comma behind them before moving to the other part of the sentences. It can also be used after an introductory prepositional phrase. That is, an introductory phrase that begins with preposition. Examples. Behind the two new houses, comma, there lived a retired policeman. The prepositional phrase that begins with 
is behind the two new houses. Amidst trials and tribulations, many people still flourish. Amidst trials and tribulations is the introductory phrase and it is added by a preposition. At the venue of the ceremony, comma, people decided to pass comments on the couple. So we have introductory prepositional phrases like behind the two new houses, amidst trial and tribulations, and at the venue of the ceremony. Comma is used to separate introductory words such as however, moreover, therefore, otherwise, consequently, in fact, eventually, similarly, certainly, accordingly, and so on. Examples, moreover, comma, the lady is leaving the class. Consequently, comma, we now have a new class captain. Eventually, comma, the principal announced the winner. If there are two or more adjectives preceding a noun, a comma is used to separate them. So if we have more than two adjectives preceding a noun, comma will be used to separate the adjectives. Examples, I have two long transparent rollers. The adjectives in the sentence are two, long and transparent. So we are using comma to separate the adjectives. And that is why we have, I have two, comma, long, comma, transparent rulers. The